My name is Tarisha Douglas. I'm 23 years old, and I'm from Washington, D.C., and Baltimore. I have the best of both worlds. I'm an amateur boxer trying out for the Olympic trials February 11th through the 19th. I love to do what I do. I sleep, I eat, and I sh boxing. Um, Pepto Bismol, can I help me <laughs> with this? <laughs> uh, 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 a turkey bird, can I help me? Nothing can. My dreams are just always about boxing. This is the first Olympics that they have picked women in to be boxing. All the other Olympic sports women could participate. So this is a kind of big deal because everybody trying to fight and be that first woman to represent for USA. And I'm fighting because I'm an African-American, black, strong woman. So it's kind of cool. My brothers, first of all, they always had boxing. I wanted to box, but I couldn't box because my cousin wanted me to be his little princess. Um, high school year, I got into some trouble with some girls, and three girls tried to jump me, and I broke a jaw, broke a nose, and um, hit a nerve, and I had to go to court for the three young ladies, and the judge told me I had to do community service hours because I had potential, and that was for boxing or karate. I took my court papers to my cousin's house to convince him, like, this is what I need to be doing. I didn't want to be nothing like my mom. Um, she was in and out of jail, um, doing drugs. So I didn't want to be nothing like that. I had two younger brothers that was looking up to me. And I was, I, I had a gift. My cousin just, it was hard for him to believe that I can actually fight. And I'm not this little princess that he tried to make out. My first 10 fights was knockouts. And... Ever since then, he, in his mind, he was like, I always, I should have believed you, I should have been put you in boxing, but it's kind of good and it's kind of awesome. I'm still doing it and trying to help a lot of young men and women that also been through, I've been, been through, which meaning different group homes and foster homes, molested, parents was on drugs. My parents actually, they won't say they did, but they gave us up for drugs. Um, My mom, uh, was having issues. She was doing drugs, so we went from my aunt house to another aunt house to my grandmother house, and then um, in different group homes and foster homes. And when I got separated from my brothers, I was like 13 years old. Uh, when I got separated from my brothers, it was a wrap. I was cussing everybody out, like, find my freaking brothers, like, was there? Because I wasn't used to being separated from them. And it was a lot of bad things going on, so I, I was kirking off. My cousin, Patrick Washington, and his wife came about and took us in, and it happened from there. But I don't fault my mother or my father for what they have done. I actually thank them. It's kind of crazy coming out my mouth but this is coming from my heart I actually thank them for what they have done for me and my brothers to be honest if it wasn't for them giving us up for cocaine crack heroin we wouldn't be here today I wouldn't be talking today I wouldn't be in this sport called boxing I would be somewhere working a nine-to-five living a regular life I really thank them for doing what they did for me and my brothers because oh, no one know where I would be at if it wasn't for them. I'm telling the world everything that I have been through because you never know who you can help. Because you don't have to be a boxer to have a dream or you don't have to be a boxer to have a story to be told. But it's those that you can help and those around you and you never know who's looking at you and how the energy from you transfers to them. I want to be remembered by my story and how many lives I changed and the positive and the energy that I gave to others. I just want to help a lot of people that have been through what I've been through and hopefully it will help them and realize that you're not the only person that's going through what you're going through and you'll never know who's reading or the next person you can help change their life. <laughs>